When it comes to achieving your goals, sometimes change is necessary. Peter Arnell knows that all too well in his new book, Shift, How to Reinvent Your Business, Your Career, and Your Personal Brand. Arnell shares stories of how he not only revived some of the biggest brands in the world, but his own life as well. Hey, Peter, good to see you. Good morning. Mm -hmm. nice shifting is what? Give me a quick definition of what shifting is. Shifting is the uh, uh, opportunity you have to make small changes in your life continuously. Um, that have uh, a very quick impact and can be seen by your family, your friends, and yourself instead of large changes, which a lot of times are not obtainable. And you've been working with businesses to help them shift for, for a long, long time. When did you finally realize that this concept also worked in a personal life as well as a corporate life? Uh, just after 9-11, uh, uh, I was... Uh, thinking a lot of, uh, I was uh, 407 pounds. Which, which you almost have to stop again and say that. You were 407 <laughs> pounds. Stand up for one second. You were way thinner than I am right now. You weigh what now, 145 pounds? 145 pounds. Uh, yeah. I mean, okay. which is an incredible transformation. <laughs> and incredible. it got you thinking about shifting personally? Yeah, I, I realized that a lot of things that I had done for a lot of companies I can do for myself, including physically and uh, from a health perspective, uh, make a lot of impact in my life with my family, with my friends. Well, so. you talk about transforming, though, and you just said small changes. Yeah. And, and yet most people would say going from 406 pounds to 145 pounds is a drastic change, and, and you don't like drastic changes normally. No, no. no. But uh, each pound and uh, each week and each day and how I did it, of course, was very, very small. I think it was an evolutionary process, not a revolutionary process, and I had no goals. I decided to uh, 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 fix a new diet, get everyone around me uh, you know, focused up on my diet, uh, so I didn't change my restaurants, I didn't change where I ate, I just got them to make things the way I needed to eat them. And, and you started to do something that I, when I read, I had to read it almost twice, you started to eat oranges, and when I say you eat oranges, you eat oranges, man. You would go up to 50 oranges a day, but you, you're, you really don't want to use that as a statement about a diet. It, the oranges mean more to you. Yeah, they mean more to me. I, I, I think everybody should grab a hold of something <coughs> and own it. Um, so it becomes symbolically a reminder every minute or uh, every moment in your life uh, uh, of, of uh, you know, keeping it on track, whatever it is that you're shifting or changing in your life. The oranges are great for me because they're available all over the world. I travel a lot. They have all the right vitamins and minerals and fibers and so forth, so it was easy uh, to uh, and, do with and oranges. As you, and, and almost symbolically, as you would sit and peel an orange, you saw it almost as peeling away layers of yourself. Yeah, exactly. It was, um, uh, it was dramatic. Uh, my doctor, uh, uh, my fat doctor, Dr. Roney, uh, said he would be very happy if I got to 250. Um, and uh, as I started sliding down to 200 and 170, et cetera, I think they all got a little nervous about that, but uh, it was, um, uh, to your point, it was just a, a natural evolution to get to my right weight. We got some email questions that, that would pertain to you, and I want to I want to throw one your direction, because I think this is how people can shift and reinvent, and, and here's the question. I, I, I just think I need to make myself stand out more, look better, and feel better. My husband just left me a few days before our seventh wedding anniversary, and I'm turning 40 in August. I feel if I'm going to have to get back out there and start all over again, I'm going to need some serious help. What would you talk, what would you say to this person, Michelle, about shifting and reinventing herself? I think the first thing is uh, she should create a fan club uh, online, use electronic media, and uh, get a lot of support. Learn to listen a lot to her friends and her family, and, uh, and, uh, and build an audience around her new being, her new self. I think it would be very, very helpful. And people love to help people. People love to support people toward positive things all the time. They're there waiting to be asked to join, you know, and help. So I would just recommend to talk to a lot of people and take all the advice and, um, you know, get a lot of support, a lot of audience electronically. The book is called Shift, Peter Arnell. Peter, thanks very much. Thank Congratulations you so much. to you. Thank you. We're back in a moment. This is Today on NBC.